Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Seams and Sense. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.sensi.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your lead Sensi consultant. So today what I have for you is a special club haul. It's a monthly club, but it's what I used to call my probationary club over the summer. And I'll probably do the same sort of thing into the fall when the season is starting to wind down. What I did was take a monthly club that I most of the time keep empty, fill it with things that were LTOs over the the summer and when the time for those LTOs to close came about where you couldn't add them anymore then I skipped a month so that I knew that in August I would be able to take all of these bars and get a shipment and then after that shipment was processed combine what was left out of the summer LTOs that I loved with my bi-monthly or quarterly club I chose my bi-monthly for what's left in this when I was done sorting them out after I had cleaned out all my fall winter bars that did come back in the new fall winter catalog. And I know there are many consultants that have different ways to manage their clubs, manage retirement issues with different bars and things, but this is how I chose to do this over the spring summer. And I will probably do it again for fall winter because it helped me a lot to have more time to decide on limited time offers, melt more of it, put in larger quantities and knock them down over time and then combine. So my bi-monthly club will be coming in September and you will see what I did love from this shipment in August that I wanted to keep carrying into the rest of the year and forward from here on out until I get sick of them in my other clubs. So this is what I got in this order. The first thing was my half off item because I did have over $60 in goodies and that was sugar cookie. And sugar cookie is no longer in the catalog. It was for a long time. They've been flirting with retiring it for seasonal use, but now it appears as though it's gone forever. So you can get this wonderful, fantastic bakery sugar cookie. It's such a classic only in clubs. So here's my other thought for this particular video. This is the end of August. Our new catalog will launch all the fall winter goodies on September the 1st. If you loved anything that is currently available spring, summer, and you don't want to lose it for forever and forever, put it into a club. And my website is always open to be able to do a club. I love having club people. It is one of my favorite types of uh, just customer care. And it, it's exciting for me to be able to have you guys because I know that you love your wax as much as I do if you're willing to save it and have the opportunity to have it forever and forever, amen. Now, if you decide after you put bars into your club that you don't care for them anymore, just know that if there is the retirement symbol, which is a little curlicue circle with an arrow, if you take that bar out, you cannot get it back unless it is offered in the future for some other LTO, which is a limited time offer, or in a catalog or some other special event. So. Let's get back to this right here, which is their brick option. There are a lot of classic scents that Scentsy has slowly been retiring out of the catalog over the last couple of years that you can still get in a whole brick in Scentsy Club. We have Perfectly Pomegranate, we have a Sugar Cookie, we have what, Sea Salt and Avocado. There are several, and then there are many other currently available bars that you can get in there as a brick. So those are $24 unless you use it for your half off. So this, five and a half, uh, bars of wax was 12 bucks and that is an absolutely fabulous deal and as far as I know sugar cookie is not leaving that roster I'm certainly hoping not I haven't heard any news that any changes are being made to our classic brick collection in Scentsy Club so if you want bricks any other time of the year besides our special we did a spring summer offer we're going to do a Christmas Christmas tree shaped holiday brick offer and for the first time ever in our fall catalog, three of our best selling scents, Pumpkin Roll, Christmas Cottage, and Very Snowy Spruce will be offered in catalog as a brick. But I don't know how the deals will go on that as far as bundling or half off or any of that. All the ones in club, if you have a Scentsy Club, you can get them half off as long as I mean, one, you can get one item half off as long as you have over $60. And if you don't want a brick, you can put in laundry products, you can put in light bulbs, you can put in another bar, whatever price point you would like, you can put in an air purifier filter. The perks for Scentsy Club just go on and on and on. So these are the bars where I wanted at least one more of them before they disappeared for the season or forever. The first one is Heirloom Rose, which was a part of the Epcot collection over the spring. And once in a while, I just want a good rose scent. I don't melt it all the time. I typically do more like February, March, April for a lot of the really heavy florals. And this was, I think, the nicest, very old fashioned and flower garden-y type rose that Scentsy's ever made. 
it's not too strong it's not too weak it's not too fussy it was perfect it reminds me a lot of the old crab treat and evelyn body wash which i loved you'd see them at fancy hotels and things this is very much like that and then the other one that is similar because i really doubt we're going to see this back in the catalog next year pink lemon water now this is a more modern interpretation of rose and this has lemon with all that sugar and rose and personally i love this this is a really good again kind of late winter early spring scent for me it's very cheerful it's very bright and i also have a stack of january scent of the month which was pineapple rose i think and those two this and that were very good together or these two would be very good together so do i need to keep those in my club for the rest of my life no i already took them out but i wanted a couple more of those as a just in case bar for a craving next spring so then the next couple things that I got, these are things that are in our current spring summer catalog that will retire at the end of this month. Hibiscus pineapple is just a classic bar. I don't really have room in my club to safeguard this, but I wanted to have a couple in case this retires for next spring summer. So this is mandarin, hibiscus. It's a beautiful kind of middle of the road, fruity floral, and I really like it. So this one, I just wanted a couple more bars and this is an excellent, excellent scent. The next one where I think this will be back next year, but you never know, Pink Rhubarb Sugar. I just wanted one more because this is a happy bar. It's kind of a craveable bar. Oh, this is so nice. So it's got sweet tart raspberry and a little bit of lemon sugar. So good. Oh, it's so good. This has definitely grown on me over the last couple years and I enjoyed it very much this summer. So I wanted one more. Now this one, I think I put this into my quarterly club for my younger daughter. And that is Coastal Sunset because for her, it would be a Scentsy Heartbreak. I wasn't going to club it oh it's so good though and this is one where i would kick myself if it doesn't return next year so it wasn't in what i considered to be my first round of this is what i'm putting in my sensi club to keep from spring, spring summer i was trying to keep that bar count very low because going into fall winter i know i'll be picking up a bunch of ltos that i just can't live without for the holidays but this definitely made my daughter's cut of nostalgia and she has to have it because she lost Harvest Blessings last season, so I won't do that to her again. And that was her fault, not mine. But Coastal Sunset is musky coconut, amethyst, amber, and just this wonderful late summer beachiness. It's so good. So the next one, this did stay. I think it's in my bi-monthly club because all the ones at the end of this shipment where I whittled it down so I could combine them, this bar I loved all spring, summer long, and that is Soft Plumeria, which was also part of the Epcot collection. This is so good. This is in my top 10 of all the spring, summer scents that we had. I love white florals. I love really lush tropical florals. And this fits that bill. It's amazing. Creamy Plumeria, tiny bit of teak in the background. Lovely bar. That will be staying in my club for a long time. The next one, I threw this in my quarterly. It's Pina Colada Cha Cha. I am debating and debating. Do I just get a stack because this is such a favorite, it'll come back next year? Or do I club it for the first time ever because you just never know what they're going to get rid of? It's so good and it performed better for me this summer than it has in the past. Oh, it's coconut and pineapple. Oh man, like I want to melt it now, even though what I am melting is our brand new cinnamon roll scent that I just filmed that video and I'm dying to try it. Oh, but this, this is so good, you guys. So I have it in my quarterly club for the moment. I will probably keep it there and probably order a six pack or at least four or five and throw something else in the last slot of the six pack and debate. And then of course, I promise you around Christmas time, it'll get the boot because my club will get too big and you know, that's just how it's gonna be. So the next one, I didn't know how many of these to get because this is probably the last time we will see this. High Mountain Lake was a part of the Father's Day collection. I don't think it'll be coming back in the catalog. It's not a fabulous performer, but it's so beautiful. It has this unusual outdoorsy and cedar scent, very light, very much like fresh, crisp outside mountainy air by a lake really gorgeous in a bedroom so I have a couple of them you know I'm not gonna cry if I can't get more of this in the future and I didn't continue it on into my bi-monthly club but I wanted another one now here's one that I did club and I'm pretty sure I put this into my quarterly blue sage and tonka this is the bar out of everything that's retiring for spring summer right now that I want to draw your attention to this is probably not coming back you guys because they've had it in the catalog for a couple of years and they did fall winter release then it didn't do a spring summer 
Then it did an entire 12 months, and typically when that tour de force is done, they'll pull a bar like this for good. This is a good bar. It's halfway between masculine and cozy. It's a fantastic late summer, early fall bar. Good for a bedroom, good for a study, good for pretty much anywhere. It has uh, black lavender and the tonka bean and sage. This is worth trying. Even for people who don't like masculine or earthy scents, they like this. So that's my bug in your ear. Either club this or try it before it's gone probably forever. And this one is in my club. All right, what's next? This was my favorite Disney LTO from the whole spring summer. And this stayed. It's in my bi-monthly club. And it's Sweet and Sassy by Peter Pan. Or Sweet and Sassy by Peter Pan. It's Peter Pan Sweet and Sassy by Sensi. It's only the second video in. Sometimes, and I'm not doing it today, I'll do several videos in a row, and by the end, I just can't think straight or speak straight. So it's just happening early to me today, and I already had coffee and everything. Uh, anyway, this is so good, you guys. I love this bar. And this is staying in my bi-monthly club, I think for good, until they bring it back in the future for anything. I like this even better than Dumbo, because there's this sharp, not bad, but sharp, juicy brightness to this. And I like Dumbo, and I'll get more, because that's going to come back for some special LTO this fall, too. Oh, this is just so happy. That's what I like about it. This has a happy factor, and it's light and citrusy, and my mother loves it, so I can share it with her. And there aren't that many bars that I get that do well in her house, so that is a plus. All right, the next one, and this is the last of this. I did not club this for the future. Pineapple and dragon fruit, very good from our summer LTOs. Mmm, very nice, but kind of similar to Bamboo Yuzu, which I already have clubbed. So this is one that didn't make the cut because I didn't need something similar enough, and I like Bamboo Yuzu a little bit better. It's a nice, bright, sweet, sassy, citrusy mix. Very good for the middle of summer. Nice and strong, too. And honestly, that one might make it into the catalog next year. We'll see. Okay, the next ones on my list are, oh, the best bars. Oops, and I'm dropping things. Oh, the best bars from our summer LTOs. Mother's Day, Blue Coconut Beach, and Summer Collection, Sunshine State of Mind, Ocean Air, and Coconut Water. These two, plus the Tinkerbell bar, if those are the only things that I could have clubbed over the summer, those are my bars. So at the moment, I think I have two of Blue Coconut Beach, and I'll be dropping that down to one just because I just can't keep too many of all the bars. Mm, it's so good. I hope this is in the catalog next spring. But if not, I will have accumulated a stack because this is not so strong that you can only use a couple cubes. This is more like a three or four cube and a warmer kind of a bar. But it's so good. Creamy vanilla and coconut and tropical freshness. It's lovely. And then the other one, which I already knocked down to one because I've gotten a lot of them over the summer, is the Ocean Air and Coconut Water. And the thing is, I couldn't decide. They're similar, but they're both so good that I needed them both in my life. Mm. So this one doesn't have as much vanilla creaminess. This is more fresh. Has a little bit of driftwood. This is so light. For me, it performs well enough in my home. Some people had trouble with the performance on this one. But man, for me, this is amazing. And I had clubbed Atlantic Air, and I'm not going to get rid of it because I do love it. But this even upstage Atlantic Air, although Atlantic Air is a little stronger, better performer, there is something about this bar that is fantastic. So this will be staying in my bi-monthly club at one bar and keeping Blue Coconut Beach Company. So then the next one is a bar that I enjoy and I want to get a good stack of it. It may not stay in my club roster for forever, and that is Saddle Up. So I got three in this order, but I did push it forward into, I think, because this was still available to move around, I think I put it into my quarterly. And this is, for me, Scentsy's nicest leathery scent. So it's got medium leather, fresh air, and some musk. It's really good with our current uh, pink leather. Very good in alternate warmers. Because mm, that's the August current scent of the month. And that is nice. That's a nice scent. I don't know that I'm going to club that, but I'll probably get a couple more before it you know, disappears in a few months. This saddle up, though, I love it. And it is a good medium, kind of right between leather and a little bit of like a fresh, mild men's cologne. So good. I really enjoy it because there's still warmth. Whereas weathered leather gets heavy, sheer leather gets sharp. It just, those aren't mine. That is my leather bar. All right, now the other two that I have here 
These were from Bring Back My Bar over the summer. Plum and White Woods, this is the last one. I have a small stockpile of this. I'm not going to keep this carrying forward into my other clubs. But it's beautiful, and it's just a lovely, elegant bedroom scent with the white woods, a little bit of maybe birch, the plums. Elegant, gorgeous, but it isn't my kind of bar. I appreciate it, but it's not one I need to keep in my club. But the next one, I was really going back and forth on this bar over the summer. And that is Fuzzy Blanket. When I first smelled it, I liked it. Then I didn't like the performance. Then I let it cure for a couple of months. And now I'm so glad I have kept this in my bi-monthly. This is gorgeous. I know this is like Dan Orchard's favorite scent ever. And it's so pretty with the sandalwood and the lavender and the honeysuckle. Like this is such a happy bar. And I know initially this was an August scent of the month years ago with the cute sand castle pail, not sand castle, the cute sand bucket pail. Cause we also had a sand castle. I don't want you to confuse those. And that bucket, I think it was blue with, you know, like sand and a, I think it was yellow or green. It's been years guys. Don't, don't, don't get mad at me if I don't remember it right. Um, like plastic shovel handles sticking out of the top. It was adorable. And this was the scent that went with it. And it's so happy. This is such a happy summer scent. So this is probably staying for the long haul in my bi-monthly. And then last but not least, two of the licensed bars that are currently available. One is an absolute home run for me. And the other one is the worst bar I have smelled from Scentsy to date. So the happy bar is three thumbs up which you guys have been hearing about for a month on my channel. I am totally addicted. I knocked it down to two in my bi-monthly because I've got like 10 of them now. This bar totally surprised me. It's like pumpkin spice bread with a little bit of cream cheese. I'm completely addicted. It makes my house smell like a million dollars. It's perfect for me. And other people, most of them have been happy. A couple of the people have been like, eh, it's not that great, but they don't hate it because some people this smells just like baking bread. They don't get all that beautiful spice. But this bar, I already melted it because I had a couple days before I could film. This bar is the most awful to my personal taste of any bar since he's ever made at any time, anywhere. I hope for other people this works. Thankfully, I did get a text from one of my greatest customers, one of my beloved locals, that she loves this. I'm going to be gifting her these because otherwise i was tempted to throw this away this bar to me smells like cooking oil some people are saying coconut oil specifically i'm not getting coconut i'm just getting greasy oil and ancient cold stale coffee or even burned coffee it's light and it's gross and i even put this in idea share with a genuine consultant concern that I don't even want to represent this scent. So if others of you are enjoying this, please let me know so that I can get an understanding of the balance of what people are getting out of this bar because my nose gets zero that is enjoyable in any way, shape or form. And I'm super sad about it because we were all so excited. So unfortunately the friends bar for me is a hard pass. Absolutely not. We'll never buy this again. So that is everything that was in this special uh, probationary combinable monthly club. And you can have a Scentsy club that comes quarterly. You can have one that comes bi-monthly and you can have one that comes monthly. You can have all three, you can have two. So currently I have my bi-monthly for most of my bakery and things where I want more of it in a year because let's say I put one bar of each in there and I skip one shipment because of each frequency you can skip a shipment one time in a calendar year. So I've got all that stuff in my bi-monthly and these that are left, like the fuzzy blanket and the ocean air coconut water, the blue coconut beach, and uh, two of this beauty. I love this. Those got added to my bi-monthly. And then some of these others separately, since they haven't retired yet, I have put those in my quarterly. So again, I get three shipments a quarterly a year because I skip one. I get five shipments of bi-monthly a year, and then I keep monkeying around with the ability to take a monthly, save things that will retire from limited time offers before I can see what the next catalog is gonna do. I kind of push that down the road a little bit so that I can combine them right before the reveal of the new, this time it'll be spring, summer catalog, and that'll be like February-ish where I can do that. So. I hope that this was helpful and entertaining. And again, please, if you are enjoying the Friends Bar, let me know because 
I was incredibly disappointed and honestly a little bit ashamed to say that since he made that, because for me personally, very, very unpleasant scent in my home. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea if that's their first Scentsy bar, because I think Scentsy is much better than that. Have a great day. This is Elizabeth Quinn with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Bye-bye.